Hello, everybody. I am a little bit late. For the six o'clock live. Hello, Halls. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Sasa. Hello, Vicar. No, I'm not. <clears throat> Hello, River. Hello, Lynn. Right, I'm, this is going to be a quick live. Uh, <clears throat> Jamie's in bath. Uh... <clears throat> we've had an eventful evening. Well, we've had an eventful afternoon. I have. <clears throat> All day. I'm fine. Are Isabel on the other hand? Isn't. So this afternoon, we discovered that Cedric the Spider had died. That isn't why I'm upset. <laughs> That's the least of my upsetness. Uh, Jamie told me to go get some water. So I went to go get some water. Isabel went to go part at Baby Gate come back in through baby gate and Cerberus has tapped to them yeah uh, I got a belly she punched him he got off <clears throat> and then he grabbed a calf <laughs> and shook his head. <laughs> I already seen him with Stanley Cup to get him off. Jamie was pulling his collar and twisting it so he choked him so he let go. Luckily he let go. And I got Isabel in the kitchen and we took her trousers off because he'd gone straight through her trousers to be greeted with flesh it all on my kitchen floor. And four great big old marks in her leg. And scratches all on his all on her leg where he's scratched with his front teeth. So Jamie at this point is still owning Cerberus. And I get phone and I phone this is 999. And I get ambulance and police. <laughs> So a paramedic told me what to do 
uh, I stood and held it while paramedic came. She came in a like a Antara car. Uh, and then she took Isabel. Well, she she didn't. She were in she were in house an hour and a half sorting a leg out before we could even move because there were flesh and skin and all sorts all over. Uh, please came. <laughs> And luckily, it's not a criminal offence because it's our pet and our Isabel's not pressing charges against me, which she could have. I could have been in prison for it. I could have been in a lot of trouble because it's my pet. And... We had to seize all rights to him. So once we'd done that, we couldn't go in a cage, we couldn't set her out to him, we couldn't say bye, we couldn't say no to him. If I hadn't have seized ownership to it of him, the police were going to take him anyway. They were not what I could have done. The police were just going to take him because our Isabel still cost us a child, even though she's 17, she still cost us a child, so he's armed a child. Uh, it's okay. Because he nearly got a nun. Uh, and if he'd have grabbed on onto that, she'd have had no. She'd have had no bits left. Because he'd have just pulled all the skin off it and she'd have just been left with a great big hole. As much as she's got four big holes in her legs. So that's been my afternoon today. I have to go up at six o'clock in the morning because Isabel's got to go back to hospital and she's got to go to theatre. Because <laughs> we've made a rape myself all life. His four fangs went in a in a in a leg round a calf, and then the scratches is from his is from his front teeth. I weren't going to come live. I weren't going to tell people. But I think it needs to be made aware of that owners have a responsibility for the dogs. And we have to make a big decision today for him. And now he's not here because he's just been to sleep. <laughs> it weren't even two. His birthday is sixteenth of April. It weren't even two. But for a dog to be so different than the other dogs, it's unreal. And I mean, literally 
unreal the difference he is to Arnala. Now they gave us some amoxicillin. I can show you because that's a name. There's no date of it. I don't really give a shit if there is any addresses on it, minute. But she's have three tablets for seven days. Space throughout the day. So she had one at three o'clock. No, she didn't. She had one at four o'clock. I'm getting one at 11 o'clock. And then she can't have no to eat or drink. From 12 o'clock. Because she's to go to theatre in the morning. I'm devastated. But relieved. That I went on holiday. And we were just about to go out at the house to go pick Scarlett's car up because it's been in for a service. And if it had gone out, and he'd have done it, she'd have been dead because our Lynn were upstairs and he wouldn't have been able to get her off and he'd have just gone and gone and gone and she'd have had no leg left. Jamie didn't really say a lot. Jamie just keeps it to himself. I asked, I asked for please when I phone when I phone 999 uh, because I knew that he, he, he couldn't stay because of what he'd done it weren't it's not just a little bite that he's done is I don't know for a calf I have photos. Uh, she had. They've changed our hospital work, so you go th through to a assessment section, rapid response section, or summer and then from there they take you wherever you need to go. If you need to stay there, they'll you'll stay there. If you need to go anywhere else, you have to go anywhere else. They took her straight through to minor major side, which is the proper A&E section. And we were waiting probably 15 minutes to go in and see nurse. And the nurse we saw were at old school friend that I went to school with and she had the best care that she could have offer she told her exactly what she was gonna do she went for an x-ray because they wanted to know if there were any teeth left in obviously there weren't because his teeth were still in his mouth uh, she cleaned it she injected it first way local anaesthetic and then she gave it a right big clean but in the meantime while she was cleaning it she was pulling flesh out she was pulling flesh out at all and then the orthopaedic doctor came and had a look and said that they're taking her to theatre but she has to go back in the morning for uh, to be put to sleep and for him to wash it out really really well I'm presuming they'll put iodine and stuff on they've marked all the leg up she's now got band not bandages pads on her leg and then a really really thick pad and then they've tightened it really 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 tight and stuck it down so she's laid she's been laid in my bed with 
pillar with a leg up and over so it's elevated uh, and now she's laid in bed watching a phone I could have had no I could have had no daughter left And it's hard because there weren't only us there with dog bites. There were quite a few people there with dog bites. And I heard people talking like, oh, my XL bought a dead of fate with another XL. My, my XL had got its muzzle on, but other XL had got its muzzle on. Uh, damaged, his, damaged his hand. And I'm like, there's me. My dog attacks my husband two days ago and then attacked my daughter and then I have to see his rise to him because what were I going to do? Let him come and attack me, let him come and attack William, let him come and attack Scarlett, let him attack Jamie. I have to do what we're right and season him what right thing to do. Oh. The paramedic, she was lovely. She was a lovely, lovely woman. And then two police officers came. Cerberus were in his cage at this time. And I think they thought that Jamie wouldn't game up. So they asked me. And I knew when I said I needed police that I was going to have to give up. <laughs> and it's a dog. You know what I mean? It's a dog. It breaks me out. The fact that they came for him. These dog handlers came for him because dog, dog handlers had to come for him and they put him on one of them right big long pole things I went in but my ring doorbell saw it all and uh, they put him on this long stick what they do when they catch him type of thing they removed Jamie front room and please have to stand with him in the kitchen while he were on his own while they took him to the van. <sighs> so that's been my day today. <sighs> I haven't even looked at any comments but Thank you if people have been sending wishes to Isabel. I really, really can't function on comments. <sighs> anyway, I am going to go because I've got to go and see to Jamie's belly. Uh. Yeah, but he's not always there because he had gone on the I'm like because it's old, it's gone because it's attacked his little bell. But anyway, it is, it's, it's gone. Uh, I don't know how, I don't know what they've done, I don't know how they've done it. 
because it's that's not to do with me no more you know if he'd have got out of cage while they were here they'd have just shot him anyway because that's what they do because it was basically classed as a dangerous dog because it bit Isabel. <sighs> you will get the idiots coming in and laughing. I really don't care. I just want this to reach people that have got dogs that think that the dogs is okay one minute but next minute they're not okay like we were he did right well this morning he came and sat because bin men were coming and cleaning bin and he came and sat and had a treat and I don't know what it was, I don't know whether it was the baby gate that did it, I don't know what. But he grabbed her belly and she punched him off and he let go. Well, he like grabbed her but it was like belly nunny area. And she punched him off. But then he grabbed her leg. Bottom of, the, bottom of the leg, a calf. So it, it is one of them things. It is an accident. It was an accident. And now we're left with pain of it could have been a lot worse. And Cerberus has had to be put to sleep. Well, I don't even know what they've done because once I'd seized right, once I'd signed it, saying that it wouldn't, it wouldn't out to do, it, it weren't my dog no more. It were, in, it were under police. They could do whatever they want with him. So, is there not knowing? But anyway, I am gonna go, cause I can hear Jamie walking and he's wanting to have his wound straight. Uh, I'll come back, well, I won't come back on. I'll let people know how Isabel gets on tomorrow. Uh, yeah, there, there will be morons, just ignore them. They're not worth it. They're not worth, they're not worth the, the air that they breathe. You know what I mean? The, the what you call it, they're not, they're not, I'm not interested in what these morons have to say. I have done right thing. I've had to seize my dog because he's attacked my daughter and left her with far great big wounds on her leg that's now got to go to theatre to be washed out, to be sta stitched up because they're that deep. So anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching this Sunday. <laughs> and I'll see you all in a different vlog, live, whatever. Thank you all. <laughs>